Hello, welcome, and thank you for joining today's daily reading. Today's prayers for America, God's help, fellowship, and beyond will be linked down below in the description box. Please don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to the channel as it does help spread the word. Our first prayer will come from the dailyprayer.us, and our second will come from JGMI, Julie Green Ministries International, dot org forward slash salvation. I'd like to welcome all the viewers to the channel, both on YouTube and Rumble. Thank you for participating in today's daily prayer. It's very nice to have you all here. Daily devotion for September 18th, 2023. We have 548 people in our community that are currently praying with us. In a great picture of Jesus' childhood, watching as his father does carpentry, teaches him patiently. We begin today with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for God's help in the duties of today. O oh God, who orders all things in heaven and earth, help me to go about the tasks and duties of this day with the remembrance that I am your servant therein. Make me honest, painstaking, and cheerful, and grant that all I do and say may bring good to others and glory to your holy name through Jesus Christ. I ask this. Amen. Prayer for fellowship. O oh, holy God, who has taught us that we should not be yoked with unbelievers, and that un and that righteousness has no fellowship with unrighteousness. I pray that you will send into my life people who confess the name of Jesus Christ, people who love you and follow you and seek to grow in your spirit every day. Let me be honorable and worthy before the profane world. Dear Father, but also let me find more friends of sincere convictions, that I may follow your command to be in fellowship with other saints and thus be reinforced in the holiness and purity of Christ to which I aspire. And let me live in harmony and unity with other Christians. Let me know them and spend time with them, and that we might share the blessing of your love. Grant that I might never feel lonely in my faith, and help you to let others feel the comfort of Christian community. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Meditation. Soren Kierkegaard. The Bible is very easy to understand, but we Christians are a bunch of scheming swindlers. We pretend to be unable to understand it because we know very well that the minute we understand, we are obliged to act accordingly. Dedication. Finally, let me go forth in thanks for the victory I have been given through our Lord Jesus Christ. May I be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, and always remembering that in the Lord our labor is not in vain. Amen. Think of the day ahead in terms of God with you and visualize health, strength, guidance, purity, calm, confidence, and victory as the gifts of his presence. Today's scripture, a quote from Samuel Chadwick, take your time, hurry is the death of prayer. 1 Corinthians 16, 5 to 14, travel plans. I will visit you after passing through Macedonia. For I intend to pass through Macedonia, and perhaps I will stay with you or even spend the winter so that you may help me on my journey wherever I go. For I do not want to see you now, just in passing. I hope to spend some time with you, if the Lord permits. But I will stay in Ephesus until Pentecost, for a wide door for effective work has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. When Timothy comes, see that you put him at ease among you, for he is doing the work of the Lord as I am. So let no one despise him, help him on his way in peace, that he may return to me, for I am expecting him with the brothers. Now concerning our brother Apollos, I strongly urge him to visit you with the other brothers, but it was not at all his will to come now. He will come when he has opportunity. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong, let all that you do be done in love. 
notes on the scripture. On this third journey, on his third journey, this letter begin, sorry, this letter being written on his second journey during his long stay in Ephesus. Paul would indeed return to Corinth twice. It was a large and influential church, and as we have seen, much in need of loving guidance. Timothy was one of the greatest of the new generation of disciples, people who had not known Christ in the flesh, but would become filled with the Spirit and continue to spread salvation at great risk. Paul treated him nearly like a son. They traveled together for years, Timothy acting as Paul's assistant. Non-biblical history tells us that Timothy became the bishop of Ephesus. He died at age 80 in poor health, but not of natural causes. As an old man, he tried to stop a pagan procession through the streets, carrying and chanting to idols that outraged people, beat him, dragged him through the streets, and stoned him to death. Apollo is an Alexandrian Jew of great intelligence, is less well known or celebrated. From what little we know, he has powerful orator. He was a powerful orator and theologian. Earlier in this book, Paul says several times that he would leave a church in Apollo's hands after getting it started. Quote, I planted Apollo's watered, 1 Corinthians 3, 6. He also appeared open to instruction and correction from others. Despite his strengths, he was mentioned as one of the normal leaders of the sect sectarianism in Corinth in chapter 1. He was apparently unable to deal with the kind of disharmony occurring in Corinth. History has him traveling to Crete and eventually returning to Corinth as, his, as its bishop after Paul had brought the Christians there into unity. All right, final verse here, Ephesians 2.8, for, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Let's head over to Julie Green Ministries for salvation. Do you know Jesus? To be born again and have eternal salvation with our Father, you must become a new creation in Christ Jesus by inviting him into your heart. Invite him into your life today. Let's say this together. Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I ask you to come into my heart. I believe you came to this earth to die so that we may live. I believe you died on the cross, were raised from the dead, and destroyed the kingdom of darkness. I confess every sin I have committed knowingly or unknowingly. I believe that you are faithful to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I believe I am now born again and a new creature in you. When I depart from this world, I know I will go to heaven and live eternally with the Father. In Jesus' name, amen. You cannot go to the Father unless you go through Christ. Jesus, the Son of God, dwelt among us to take on the sin of this world, to destroy it. He sacrificed his life for hours so that we may live in eternity with him and the Father. The final prayer. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. John 11, 25, 26. And that's going to do it for today's daily prayer for America. For God's, for God's help, for fellowship, and beyond. Thanks so much. It is appreciated. We need to spread the word as far as possible. I know a lot of people that watch aren't subscribed. It does note that. And, um, it would be appreciated if you would subscribe to the channel as that will help spread videos around further and put them in more people's view. And that's what it's all about, spreading the word of Jesus Christ. Uh, also, um, your, uh, your channel might not show up if you subscribe, depending on your settings. So make sure you check your settings if you... Um, are interested in sending a prayer or asking for a prayer to be read for you, um, just send them in the comments. So with that, have a blessed day. Thank you for joining us and taking part in the daily prayer. We'll see you all tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.